Hello everyone, this is Dan Fitzpatrick, the AI Educator, and I'm pulling together this video to show you the amazing artificial intelligence features within Canva. Now many of you will be using Canva, if you're not, where have you been? It is a phenomenal tool uh, for design, for creating presentations, for creating documents, and for lots of other functions. And I'm going to show you some of the AI that's integrated into these tools. So let's, first of all, have a look at what you can do within a document. So in the top right hand corner, once you've logged in, you can click create a design and click doc. And just like Google Docs or a Word doc, you can create your own documents within Canva. Now, on the document here, if I click the plus sign, you get different formats. So you can see here, I can put a design in, a heading, a subheading, body text, bullet points, and so on. But at the top here, we've got Magic Write. So Magic Write is Canva's version of ChatGPT, essentially. So I am recording this in Florida, and I've just been to the Kennedy Space Station, so I'm inspired to write something like... Write about the importance of the Apollo space missions. Click generate, and that's exactly what it'll do for me. And there you can see in green, it has written about the importance of the Apollo space missions. And it's the prompt that I wrote has become the heading. Now, I don't want that to be my heading, so I'm just going to change that to... the importance of the Apollo space missions. So straight away, within a few seconds, it has created a kind of uh, a resource sheet, a mini document on what I've asked it to do. An amazing first step. Now what I can do is I can turn this into a presentation. Now Canva in the top right-hand corner where it has the convert button. If I click convert, it's going to allow me to turn the information in this document into a deck, into a presentation. And it works so fast. And here we are, you can see how fast this has worked. And it allows me to choose a design here. So I'm going to choose, let's say this design here and then click create my presentation. And what it does essentially is it takes the text and puts it onto some slides for me. Now, the chances are you're probably going to want to edit this and make it a bit more presentation friendly, because as you can see, it's just kind of got a paragraph on each page. But amazing as a first starting point. So if you've got a resource for your class or for that you want to turn into a presentation, you just click that convert button and it's going to put it onto some slides for you. And it's a great starter. Great. It's going to save you time transferring the text over um, and you can just get to work straight away on those slides and start editing it and making it bespoke to you. Now, there is another way to create a presentation as well. So let's say you don't have a resource or you don't have a document with some information on already. What you can do is click create a design this time instead of create a doc we're going to click create a presentation and now you can see we've got a blank presentation there now on over on the left hand side here we've got magic design so remember magic right was in the doc in here inside of the presentations we've got magic design you click that and you can ask it to create your presentation straight from a prompt. So it's not taking it from the document, it's taking it straight from a prompt. So the importance of the Apollo space missions. And you can write up to 100 words there, click enter, and it's going to create my presentation for me in a matter of seconds. And you can see if I do it this way, it actually gives me some cool images that I can use as well. So which one am I going to pick? Let's pick this one here at the top. 
I'm going to click create my presentation and there you go literally within seconds we've got a full presentation on the importance of the space the Apollo space missions and it's come up with a cool title there the Apollo space missions a giant leap for mankind famous words of Neil Armstrong it's come up with some images there man on the moon and you can see there it's it's adding images into a lot of these slides nice timetable there so when you do it the prompt within magic design rather than converting the document you get these cool images which i really like and again it's a starting point so if you're doing a lesson you you're going to want to edit this you're going to want to maybe add some of your own content generate some more content um, edit and make it bespoke for your students and bespoke to your style but as a starting point this is just phenomenal what I can do as well, so we've looked at Magic Design, we've looked at Magic Write. I'm just going to add another slide at the end here. And then over on the left-hand side, I'm going to scroll down to Apps. And you will see here that the featured app at the top is Text to Image. That's what we're going to look at now. If it's not there for you, then you can just type into the search Canva apps bar at the top there, text the image, and you will find it. So this is Canva's very own image generator. Okay, so if you've heard me speak before, you, you'll know I talk a lot about text-to-text -text generative AI, but also text-to-image generative AI. And there's some powerful tools out there, like Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and they cost a bit of money. But here we have one built in to Canva. And if you're already using Canva, this is fantastic. Now, it's not as powerful as, say, a mid-journey, but it can create some amazing results. So let's continue the space theme. So I'm going to type in here, let's say, solar system. And I get to choose a style. So I'm going to put it in the style of a watercolor painting. Then I get to choose the aspect ratio. I want it to be landscape to fit in with the slides. And then I click create your image. And here it is, it's creating the image for me. So it's that simple. You type in your prompt of what you want. You click your style, you click your, click your aspect ratio. And here we go. I'm gonna insert this one. So all I have to do is click on it and it will appear on the page just going to open it up obviously it's, a, it's an abstract image it's not a, it's not representative of the solar system uh, per se but it's a watercolor um, I'm not too sure what the lines are at the top and the bottom but with Canva I just drag these in to crop it so I drag the top bit in drag the bottom bit in and I've cropped that image there I'm just going to make it big enough for the page and there we go. We've got a completely unique AI generated image and you can have a play around with that, create whatever you want to create. Um, and it just, it's a great way if you can't find an image that you want within the stock images it's got, or you want to be a bit more creative and have your own unique images. It's a fantastic app to have. Right. Now the last AI tool I'm going to show you in this video is the DID. Now, this is really cool. It's a plugin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the home page. Now, let's say I have created this resource as an asynchronous piece of work for my students. So it could be homework, it could be uh, for flipped learning, whatever it is. But the teacher's not going to be presenting this. It's the student who's, who's learning from it. Then this DID plugin allows me to add an avatar that's going to speak to my students. Amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on the left-hand side, I'm going to click Apps again. This time I'm going to click capital D dash, capital I, capital D. And here it is, DID AI Presenters, it's called. So the first thing I do is I pick my avatar. So... Let me pick this guy here. 
Then I type in what I want that person to say. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that document. I'm going to go back to that document we used before. And I'm just going to have that first paragraph as an opener. I'm going to copy and paste it in. And I'm just going to add, welcome to this presentation on the Apollo space missions. And I'm going to click the language. I'm going to pick English United Kingdom. Get to choose a voice. I've chosen a male avatar, so I'm going to want a male voice. So let's pick Thomas. Then I'm going to click Generate Presenter. When I do this, I'm going to have to connect my DID account. So chances are, if you're watching this, you probably don't have a DID account, but you can create a free one. So if I click Connect, all I have to do is click Sign Up, include my email address, continue create a password continue again and it's created an account for me and you can see here it says I have 20 credits left so with a free account you get so many free credits I'm gonna go back up and it says here that to create this video it's gonna take up two of those credits so it could potentially create 10 different videos here with a free account so I'm gonna click generate presenter now, what it's going to do, it's going to create that person for me, and I'm going to be able to put them on the opening slide of this deck. And my students just have to click play when they open it, and it will introduce them to this deck. And it's created the avatar there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag him up here. I'm going to resize this window. Now you can see there's a black, there's a white background there. So all I'm gonna do is click edit video. And then I'm gonna click the background remover. And it's gonna remove the background of this avatar. This avatar, I'm just gonna make him a little bit bigger. And he is gonna introduce this video. So now if I click share and I want the view only link, so this is the link that I'm gonna to send to my students, click copy, so paste that address in. Welcome to this presentation on the Apollo space missions. The Apollo space missions were a series of space exploration missions conducted by NASA between 1961 and 1975. These missions were incredibly important for a number of reasons, both scientific and geopolitical. And there we go, and the students can go through the rest of the just like that. So that's four amazing AI functions within Canva. There are other functions as well around editing images. Um, so if I click on this image here, click Edit Photo, you will see there's something called Magic Eraser, Magic Edit. Check them out. I might do a vi some videos on them in the future.